side tip, once you get all of your Eternabond squares cut out, you can then peel off the backing and put it on like a piece of parchment paper. That way it's real easy once you get up on your roof to just pull it off and slap it right on top of the rivet that you're trying to waterproof. This music moves my soul. No hesitation. And honestly, if you're by yourself, this is one of the hardest jobs because you have to keep going up and down the ladder all by yourself. So you gotta come down here, get some squares, peel off the back and put them up. It's just a, oh my God, it's just a ridiculously time consuming job. And I really wish, oh, that I wasn't by myself all the time. But you do get the satisfaction of a job well done knowing that you knocked this mother effer out of the park all by yourself. My body's racing, gonna break this cage, take the stage. The time is now, and I'm wide awake in the golden age. I feel like dancing. This music moves my soul. No hesitation. I did figure out though that like these squares on this tape in general like I tried like peeling the backing off with my finger fingernail or whatever and sometimes it just didn't work you know it was kind of a pain in the butt at times but if you just take like the little corner there and just put it right on your tooth peels right off got to finish up the roof I'm getting almost 11 straight days of rain at least that's what's in the forecast <sighs> Truth be told, <clears throat> I absolutely hate painting. Uh, and it's not like the big parts of painting. Like if all I had to do was this, fine. No big deal at all. But that, all these little details, going around all the little things, cutting in, those are the things that I absolutely hate. Most people, they're like, oh, we'll just paint it. You have no idea, zero idea what you're about to get yourself into. Watch and see. This place is jumping hell. We got to 